In a previous video blog, I talked a little bit about the importance of application decommissioning, not only to the organization, but to information security and the chief information security officer. There, I talked about a six-step process for how the CISO and the organization in general can approach the, the discipline of uh, decommissioning applications. In this post, I want to dig into the first step, gaining stakeholder alignment. And, and while that topic isn't really a science, it's an art, you've got to have good diplomacy skills, a lot of luck, uh, organizational culture on your side, uh, I wanted to, at least in this post, quickly lay out the stakeholders in general that you've got to try to bring together in order to get everyone aligned to move forward with application decommissioning. So on the first, in the first place, you've got information technology. So IT, who typically own the applications and the storage or the environment that they're running in, has to be on board. Second, you've got to have business stakeholders on board. These are the folks who are doing business work out in operations that rely on these applications, claims applications, billing applications, whatever it might be. They've got to be on board for retiring them because typically they're running only because the business stakeholders need them or we perceive that they need them. So you can't just make the applications disappear without consulting them. Third is legal. So a lot of the information that's in these systems is business critical and so may be involved in e-discovery either litigation that's current or anticipated or you know is a high risk area like claims where you know you're going to get sued about it. Legal's got to be involved if we're going to be able to defensively retire these applications and dispose of the content within them. Fourth is information security. Again, since so much of this information is mission critical, sensitive, InfoSec has got to be involved to make sure that how that information is handled after the decommissioning fits with their standards. Third is records management. Again, so much of this information is our records of the business that records management has got to weigh in on whether, even if we're decommissioning an application, can the data in it go away or does it have to be retained for records purposes? Absolutely critical. Uh, next is compliance in general. So lots of things from FTC to Department of Insurance to OSHA to you know you name it um, are things even SOX that we've got to comply with as a business we want to make sure before we start decommissioning applications and getting rid of the information in there and moving it around that compliance is involved finance is another one um, typically because they're the ones who understand the financial impact of keeping an application running versus sunsetting it and those financial implications in terms of ROI can be huge, especially if an organization has thousands of applications. Uh, many of them spend, spending, for many of them, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions of dollars. And then finally, your analytics group needs to be involved because they probably have designs on old claims data, old billing data, old customer data, using that for you know, big data, for analytics, for data warehouse, and if that information goes away, it can impact the work that they do and how they deliver their business. So they've got to be involved. Okay, so much for step one, gaining stakeholder alignment. Those are the folks you need to have involved. Um, in a future post, we'll go through the other five steps and hopefully uh, give you everything you need to begin decommissioning applications. Thanks.